What's up YouTube, it's the Shiny Samurai here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be going over another Pokemon Unite video, but this time we're going to be talking about all the Ultra moves in Pokemon Unite, and with that, we get to see all the Pokemon in Pokemon Unite. So if you're excited for this video, don't forget to Razor Shell, that subscribe button, and Aqua Jet, that like button, because your boy is dropping content every day, and if you don't want to miss out, Go hit that uh, bell to get notified when I drop more videos. With that being said, let's get into it. So the official video that I was going to use at first to just showcase all the Pokemon and Pokemon Unite, the video got taken down due to copyright issues from Pokemon. But this video is up and I'm going to use this video for reference as well. So we got Venusaur. Its Unite move is Verdant Anger. Launches a giant seed towards the designated area. The seed then splits apart, dealing damage to opposing uh, Pokemon in the area of effect. And decreasing their movement speed for a short period of time. So it's like a splash. It's a splash effect move that um, lowers the target speed. So it's a splash. It, it could just lower your opponent's speed in different locations. At a, at a, you know, where, where you pop this effect off. Off at. So then it just showcases the move, throws it, boom, and it just low, it lowers the speed. Venusaur is an absolute tank. So next up we got Charizard, Seismic Slam. There's no secondary effect. There's no secondary effect to this. It's a short hit. So we got Slowbro with Slow Beam. Has the user stare at the opponent Pokemon and attack continuously, dealing damage and blinding them. Shields the user and make them unstoppable while they are using this move. So it gives you an unstoppable shield, continuous attack, the hindrance ability, and it also gives you a, a shield. It also gives you a shield. So Slowbro is definitely a must pick when you're building your team in Pokemon Unite. Moving forward. We have, um, oh, it's still, it's still showcasing Slow Beam. So moving forward, we have uh, Gengar with Phantom Ambush, and it's a Dash Unite Super. <clears throat> Has the user jump to the designated area and allows them to start sneaking with increased movement speed. If used again, deal damage to the opponent Pokemon, uh, the opposing Pokemon in the area of effect. And decreases their movement speed for a short period of time. So it is like it's like Shadow Sneak. Um, it boosts your speed, gives you the dash movement, and also it's like um, Venusaur's um, um, with that. Ah, I can't even speak today. It's like Venusaur's ability that allows you to slow down your opponent. So a lot of these um, Unite moves slows your opponent Pokemon. So you want to watch out for your opponent's Unite move. So moving forward, we have. Gengar, he's going to do his uh, move, I guess, on this substitution dog. So it allows him to, to dash. Oh, oh, that's dope. And then if you use it again, you deal damage. That's dope. Okay. So now we got Lucario. We got Aura Cannon as a Unite move. And it's just a range, no secondary effect. So I guess it's just a long range Unite move. That deals massive amount of damage to who's ever in the path of this aura cannon. So we have um, Machamp with Barrage Blow. Increases the user's movement speed, attack, defense, and special defense for a short period of time. If used again, unleashes a combo dealing damage to opponent opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and shoving them. The final blow deals an especially large amount of damage. So this buffs your uh buffs my champ attack, defense, special defense, and speed. And then if you complete the entire combo, you deal a lot of damage. So you will really want to watch out for my champ's barrage blow. Let's watch him pull this off. Oh, it's like a close combat. It's literally a close combat, but with the reversed effects. It doesn't lower you. It buffs you up. So you could do that. Hit a dynamic punch or cross chop at the end. So next up, we got Gardevoir with Fairy Singularity. It's a hindrance type uh, utility move. Warp space in the designated area drawing an opponent Pokemon. Shoves and deals damage to opposing Pokemon. The instant the warp space disappears. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay. Oh, and then you can hit him with a moon blast, a side shock. You can do all of that within this move. That's dope. It's it's a combo. Oh, and then oh, see like you could do use that to use um Charizard Seismic Slam for a short hit with it's a lot of damage. Or you can um combo Gardevoir and Machamp to make sure you definitely hit that last blow with Machamp's barrage blows and just deal the um, the large amount of damage after completing the combo also reason your speed attack defense and special defense See this is this is a team-based game and pulling combos like that off is very important So now we got um Absol's you uh, midnight slash is an area of effect move Unleash a flurry of slashes in front of the user this move in by unleashing powerful blades of energy Dealing increased damage to opposing Pokemon and shoving them. So you pushing your uh, Pokemon. It's an area of effect move, and it can cover a large area of space while sh um, shoving your opponent back. So it could be a final resort to your opponent Pokemon is about to score and on your point, and you could just push them back with Midnight Slash, or you could pull them in. And then deal, do the combo with Gardevoir and Machamp. So this is, I really like how uh, Pokemon Unite allows you to combo these moves together. But it's all up to your team and how they maneuver and how they cooperate while doing these uh, moves and stuff. But moving on, let's see how uh, Abso do this move. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Next up, we got Crustle, a Gen 5 Pokemon, and he his Unite move is a buff. Grants the user shield before dealing damage over time to nearby opposing Pokemon and leaving them unable to act. If the user receives damage while this move is in effect, the move deals additional hits to nearby opposing Pokemon. So this is a buff. You gain shield, so you take less damage while dishing out more damage. Crustle is the absolute tank. Shout out to Gen 5. Shout out to Gen 5. Crustle is the absolute tank. You can take damage. And if you take damage while using your, uh, um, your, 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 your Unite move, you deal out more damage. And then after your Unite move, your enemy is unable to act. So you can do everything I said prior to Crustle by pulling them in, using Absol, using Gardevoir, using Machamp, using Charizard Seismic Slam, and just go crazy. The combinations is is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So let's move on. Let's move on to Blastoise with Hydro Typhoon. And it's a melee type Unite move. Spouts water to attack while spinning and throws opposing Pokemon in a large area. The user sh is shielded while using this move. See, it just keeps getting better and better. So you're pushing your, your opponent while um while shielding yourself and also dealing damage so and then the combos is the combos is just unstoppable at this point at this moment you could just you could do that then do a surf push your push your opponent pull him back in with gardevoir midnight slashing with abso and the combos are ridiculous let's see how this move uh is, is maneuvered it's all up to the team how how, how you maneuver this move how you move over these moves? Let's see. Moving on. We got Pikachu with Thunderstorm. And this is an area of effect move. Attacks opposing Pokemon near the user and tremendous bolts of lightning. So it's just Thunderstorm. It's just a Thunderstorm. But this also could be com a combo with Gardevoir. So we got Alolan Ninetales with Snow Globe. Attacks with chilly snow and ice, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect. When it hits, deal increased damage to opposing Pokemon that are frozen. So you use Blizzard to, you know, try to freeze your opponent. And then activate Snow Globe to deal the effective damage while your opponent is frozen. That is crazy. And you can make the team this up with Gardevoir, sure hit everything. You are golden. Alright, so now we got Mr. Mime with Showtime. 
has the user jump to the designated location and start a Phantomine performance dealing damage over time to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and leaving them unable to attack for a short period of time. See, the, I'm not even going to explain. You already know what this does. Is the area of effect dealing damage to your opponents. Leave them unable to attack. Combos, combos, combos. That's all I see right now. So now we got Snorlax. And it just says, Unite Move. Buff. Has the user fall asleep and begin to snore, dealing damage over time to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect. While restoring the user's HP, Certain using certain moves while asleep allows the user to roll over, dealing further damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect. So it's basically the rest and snore combo. So in, you know, mainstream Pokemon games, when Snorlax uses snore, or I mean, when any Pokemon uses rest, and they use the move snore, it allows them to use any move in their arsenal. No, it actually allows them to snore and deal damage to opponent Pokemon. That's what snore does. Sleep talk allows you to um, use any move in your arsenal with a chance to activate the move rest as well. So that's also that's I like how they pay homage to that. I like how they pay homage for that. that and it and you wake up afterwards. Next up, we have Guard Chomp. Unite move, Vivid Outrage is a melee attack. Has the user unleashed a powerful chain attack while dashing forward. The final attack throws the opponent but also leaves the user unable to act for a short amount of time. So it's like a double-edged sword. You have to use this as a last resort. So you want to make sure you defeat your enemy, your, your enemy, your opposing Pokemon. And make sure you have a defensive tank in front of you so when you leave yourself unable to um, attack for a short amount of time, your, in, your your ally teammate can jump in, take damage, and dish out damage as well, as well as protecting you. So, here we go. It's literally an outrage, which leaves you unable to attack for a short amount of time. Next up, we have Greninja, probably the one that I'm going to be using the most. Water Burst Shuriken has to use a jump to the designated area and attack opposing Pokemon in an area of effect with a giant water shuriken. So it's basically Ash's Greninja Water Shuriken that was used in the Kalos League facing against Alon and his Mega Charizard. So let's look at this. And it's a quick, no drawback, no buffs, but it's just a quick move. You could just dish it out. So here we got Talonflame with Flame Sweep. Has used to perform an aerial somersault before charging forward, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in this move's path and shoving them. So it's basically a, da it's a dash unite move that allows you to um, push your enemies back. So it's good for a last resort when your enemy is definitely trying to score those, those final points into your base, trying to, you know, secure the win. But you can, you know... Push them back with your uh, flame sweep. So that is good. I, I, I really do like that. And that could be used to get into enemy territory. So if you use that, take out a couple enemies in the process. You can also probably score and probably turn the tables on your enemy. You never know. And then combo that with a brave bird. That's a, def oh, that's a beautiful combo. Next up, we have Cinder Ace. And it just says Unite Move. And it's basically probably his Gigantamax move when you use um, um, its signature move. Kicks a giant fireball towards the designated location, which then explodes dealing damage to opposing Pokemon in the area of effect. This Unite move increases the user's movement speed for a short memory of time when it hits. So if you hit your opponent, you increase your movement speed, which allows you to, to, to speed up into enemy territory, take out more enemies, and potentially score those points you need to win this match. So it's basically it's G Max move for a signature move. That's why I just call Unite Move is and it's a short hit. So you can't miss, I'm pretty sure. And then you could flame charge after that because your speed is increased. Then combo that with a blaze kick. The combos is ridiculous. Let's see how this pan out. Mm-hmm. Increase your movement speed. Flame charge, blaze kick. The combos is ridiculous. 
See, look. Oh, oh my God. So now we got Elder Gauss. Unite move is an area of effect. Also, has you use a float into the air and become invincible. Whoa. If used again, has you used a pound the ground, attacking and shoving opposing Pokemon and restoring HP to ally Pokemon in the area of effect. So basically, Elder Gauss is a support character which becomes invincible while floating in the air. So potentially, this could be a team saver. Your, in your allies could be fighting in enemy territory, trying to score those last points, on the brink of fainting, and you could just swoop in, pound the ground, push all enemy Pokemon back, and heal your ally teammate to potentially get those points in. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. I, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. And you become invincible, so you gain shield as well. Uh-huh, push him back. Yes, I love it. I love it. So now we got Cramorant, Unite Move also. And it creates a puddle at the user's current location. The user continually uses their mouth to grab a recruiter from the puddle and spits them out to attack the nearby opposing Pokemon. The user cannot move or use other moves while this move is... In. So it's basically a turret. So what you could do is use Hurricane, then use this move, and continuously attack your opponent in the back while your tank is in front of you taking hits while you're just dishing out damage while spitting Aracuda out at your opposing Pokemon. See, the combos is brilliant because you can use Gardevoir, bring them in, use this, and just turret every enemy within this turret. That's brilliant, and I, and I love it. And I love it. Let's see. And he just keeps hitting. But that's it for this. If you enjoyed this video, because I know I did enjoy making it just as much as you enjoyed watching it. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to raise your shell, that subscribe button, and aqua jet that like button. And if you're excited, if you're excited for more videos like this, don't forget to hit that bell to get notified when I drop more videos. Because your boy is dropping content. I haven't dropped content in like a day and a half. Was real busy with work and stuff, but your boy is back. Back to the schedule, dropping videos, you know your boy is coming crazy. So, with that being said, don't forget to follow those steps. Keep gaming, and keep on playing Pokemon, because we got a whole nother year. We waiting for Legends of Arceus. But with that being said, let's go. It's a Chinese Samurai, and I'm out. Peace.